Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Friday to my lovely people. How are we doing here? Let's address the elephant in the room. Not a monkey pot, not a monkey pock. It's a zit. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to talk about standing on your own two feet. Okay. So the reason we're talking about standing on your own two feet is because it was a request <laughs> and we just go jump right into it. And there's a lot of people that tend to lean on other people. They lean on other people for everything that they need. Now I'm going to um, give you an example, kind of like a uh, big mom. You look at she's leaning over or you see those people that's walking, leaning over. And it's like, okay, wait, they had a lot of stresses. Did they really have a lot of stresses? Or was it the people in the area, the people in the neighborhood? They say it takes a village to raise a child. Did they have everybody leaning on them, their entire family leaning on them to go forward to do things where they, they can't stand on their own? Good morning, good morning, good morning, Mary Kay. <laughs> So you have to look at it. And the reason I use like Big Ma or the little old lady that you see walking down the street, those are things that go through my mind. I'm like, man, everybody was leaning on this poor lady. She can't even hold herself up. So I'm speaking metaphorically as well as literally if you need a picture. So there's your image. Standing on your own. Are you that person that leans on everybody? Are you that person to make your own decisions but expect other people to get you out? <laughs> Whoever I'm talking to. Are you... That person that says, oh, okay, well, I did this. I made this decision, but I'm going to blame you because of, bad, a, because of a bad decision or maybe not even a bad decision. A decision that I made that didn't go my way. So we're going to talk about standing on your own. Standing on your own two feet and stop giving your stresses to other people. Is that an easy thing? Hey, Chrissy, is that an easy thing to do? Absolutely it is. Absolutely it is. It's so easy to be like, okay, I failed. Here, you hold on to my failures. But is it fair? Is it fair? So you're going to see me. We're standing tall. We're doing our thing. We live in our lives. We're making our great decisions. And some of them may not be great, but we're still okay with it because we accept responsibility for the decisions that we make. Hey, Chris. And guess what? Boom. You got somebody over there that you truly love so much and you don't want to hurt their feelings. Good morning, Art. You don't want to hurt their feelings. So you're like, okay, what's the problem? And you're constantly bailing them out. Well, guess what? Boom. Leaning forward. Boom. Then you got somebody over here, maybe let's say in the neighborhood. Boom. They're telling you all their problems. Then you're at work. Boom. So you find yourself pushing and like, hey, Nay. Uh, trying to push yourself to stand back up tall. All the stresses of everybody else. It is time for you to tell those people, listen, y'all heavy. You're heavy. You're pushing me over. I don't want to be that person leaned over having a cane to prop me back up because of all of your stresses. It is time for you to tell them to stand on their own two feet. How often have you seen where it's like, oh, okay, I'm going to grandma. Grandma going to do this. Grandma going to do that. And then you're looking, you're like, oh, well, grandma is tired. Grandma is tired. She's been lifting up. You, if it's grandma, that's the second generation. And then if you have children, you're teaching your children to lean on grandma. All right. So I'm going to give you some tips on standing on your own. No, and, and you might agree, you might disagree, but I got to do what I do, okay? First of all, you want to sit to yourself. Sit to yourself and be like, do I even like myself? Mel, why well, I got to ask if I even like myself? That's very important because you got to fall in love with yourself. Fall in love with the idea of falling in love with yourself. Why do I say that? Again, because we tend to blame others. When you fall in love with yourself, you're gonna, you are going to be okay with the decisions and ideas that you come up with because you love yourself. You know what's a great idea. And you're going to take responsibility for your decisions that you make. But first of all, we need to determine our values. 
Determine your values. Your values may not be the same as your aunts, your family members, you know, people in the neighborhood, your grandparents. And it's a whole new day and I get it. But determine your values and base it off of that. You know what I'm saying? So once you do that, determine your values, make your own decisions, please, please, please. And stop looking for things to make you happy. Okay? Stop looking for things to make you happy. I don't know why that just came, but it came. Stop looking for things to make you happy. Like you for you. If you are that different person, you know what I'm saying? If it's like, oh, okay, well, you know, I didn't click with everybody else. I wasn't with the in crowd. I was with my own crowd. I was with the misfits as like the, what is the, um, the Christmas story Rudolph with the misfits. It is totally okay. Listen. Be in love with the idea of loving you if you don't already love yourself and don't know how. Okay? And change accordingly. How will I love me without looking at a material thing? How do I love me without pushing the love of the people that love me over because they love you so much they're like, okay, I'm going to help you, I'm going to help you, I'm going to help you. But how many failures, and it's okay because I'm Quincy. How can you get an A if you're afraid of getting an F? But how many failures or how many bright ideas I think that I may have and then I blame my people, my circle, for the bright idea that I had if it doesn't go right? How, and, and that's when you push people out. That, that's when you push people out. How long are you going to? How long you... When are you going to send them to the grave? And I hate to be rude. You know, you're pushing them over. You're knocking them over. And then they fall. And then where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Time to stand on your own two feet and become independent. Now, you have people that will be like, oh, okay, they're making, um, you're enabling them. You're doing this because you may not rear your children. You may not, you know, your friends, your relationships. Everybody treat their relationships different and what works for them. Here's for my outsiders. All you can do is just say, look. Look where you are. Look at yourself. I'm not saying don't help people. I'm not saying that. Hear me clear. But if you got that same person, here I go back with the deposits and the withdrawals. If you got that same person withdrawing, 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 you're not able to allow anybody else to withdraw. And that might be the person that's deposited into you. They're depositing, but you got this person over here constantly making a withdrawal, but they're not depositing anything into you. So again, like I said, metaphorically and literally, Look at those people that are slumped over. They're tired. They're tired. And is it fair? And am, are you the user? Are you the user? You know what I mean? What role do you play? Am I a giver or am I a taker? Because once you done killed that person, knocked them over, and they all rock bottom, you go to try to find somebody else to push them over and let them hit rock bottom so that you can rise. That's a problem. The problem is you. So again, I say... Take responsibility for the role that you play. Take responsibility for yourself so you can stop depending on other people. Please, please, please. And how do I do this? I told you guys, go to a room by yourself. Make your own decisions. Take responsibility for the decisions that you make because you already know again, 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 I'll say this. How do you know you have a problem? You have a problem when you can't take responsibilities for a decision that you make and you tend to blame other people when you fall short. That is not okay. All right. So like I said, I'm not going to give you anything terrible without giving you the solution. Okay. I'm going to give you the problem without giving you the solution. And that's the solution. Fall in love with the idea of loving yourself. Okay. All right, my lovely people, that is what I got to give you today. That's my time. I thoroughly enjoyed you as I do each and every Friday. Find you, embrace you, most importantly, always love you. And I told you how to get there, how to get there. Not materialistic things. Don't look at what you can buy to make you happy. Look for you. Peace. See you next week.